welcome to this Art Explorers activity for the Turnpike. Um, we're going to be doing scratch art today and it's inspired by the Buster Move exhibition at the Turnpike by an artist called Simeon Barclay. Um, so first thing we're going to need is some thick paper or thin card. So this here is just some standard cardstock um, and I've divided it up into four because I find it easier to work on a small piece for this activity and it saves resources as well. The other thing that you'll need is some um, oil pastels, wax crayons, um, something like that. So um, this sort of thing. Um, these are just cheap ones that I got. I had already got in stock, but um, you can buy them in WH Smiths or any other stationers. You can also buy them online. Um, I will put some links um, in with this video, which have some other options you can use if you haven't got oil pastels, other things that you might be able to use instead, including paint. Uh, which is an option as other artists have figured out so uh, I'll share those links with you but we'll be using oil pastels today. So the first thing you need to do is absolutely cover the background of your uh, paper in multicoloured explosion of beautiful colours. So you can see that these pastels are well used because I do actually really love doing this activity. It's one of my favourite ways of doing drawings. It just so happens that it works really well when we're thinking about how we might be inspired by the neon words that are in the uh, Bus to Move exhibition. So I thought they were really vibrant. I love neon. It's one of my favourite things. Um, so I was thinking about how we could be inspired by neon to do this activity when designing it for you. So now that our piece of paper is completely covered in colour as you hopefully yours looks as colourful as mine. The next thing we're going to need is um, a black pastel. Now I always find black pastels are the first thing in my uh, pastel box to run out um, and some of the other examples I'll show you include using black paint at this stage which is also an option. I don't have any paint in so I'm just going to use the pastel um, and what we're going to do is completely cover the colours that you've just done. This might seem a bit mad because surely you want to keep the colours for everyone to see but all will be revealed shortly. So again, similar with the colours, I'm trying to cover it as much as I can. In a way, the black paint option works better at this because you don't have to colour it. It just splodges all over the top, but um, I'm going to do the best I can with my wax crayon so that it looks as much like a solid block of colour as it can be. So I think I've done that. That's okay. So. You can still sort of see the colours underneath, but it looks pretty black. Next, you're going to need some tools for scratching your drawing out. So that's why it's called scratch art. Um, so I have here a couple of different clay tools that I have. You could also use a cocktail stick, I think would work really well, or a kebab stick. Um, some people who really don't mind getting their nails messy will just use their nails. Um, so have a little play around and see what works well for you. I'm going to use this particular clay tool because I think it's got a nice sharp tip there that's going to work really well. Um, so thinking about how we might be inspired by Simeon's ex exhibition, um, his the way he used neon was to write words. So what I would encourage you to do is have a play doing words first. Um, however, what actually is really nice about this activity is that it's a very satisfying way of drawing. So you might decide to just do a drawing of any description um, it works really well for doodling. Um, 
nice patterns and things. So have a little play around with it. I'm going to do a word. 